In this lesson, we're going to learn how to apply tonal control, such as highlight and shadow controls, as well as brightness controls, in addition to how to, how to control your color or correct for color in Adobe Premiere Rush. So I recorded this in Yosemite Valley. It's a nice little sequence of a, of a small little waterfall. And I want to be able to make sure that I'm going to have plenty of detail in my highlights as well as my shadows. A difficult shot because the shadows have a tendency to go very rich, while your highlights have a tendency to get blown out if, you're not, if we're not careful. So let's go over to the right-hand side and let's target the third option down. This is going to be my color and tonal controls. Now, we also have presets here. I often have a tendency to avoid presets as they don't always give me what I'm looking for. Some of them are pretty cool looking, but I want to be able to control every little aspect of, of, of the shadow highlights and midtones in this image. I'm going to target on none, which means no preset applied. And instead, instead of the presets option, I'm going to go to its neighbor right next to it called edit. I'm going to target edit. Now I can control various aspects of this image. All right. One of them is exposure. Now we're looking at um, learning to control shadows, midtones, and highlights. Shadows are the darker areas. Midtones is more of this brownish area, the little bright brownish area up here. And your highlights are going to be the whitewash of the falls. So if I bring the exposure higher, I'm increasing the shadows, midtones, and highlights equally. If I bring the slider down, I'm, I'm going to darken shadows, midtones, and highlights equally. If I double click, it will reset it back to zero. All right, I don't want to play with exposure just yet. Let's actually go to contrast, understand what it does. Increases it, increases the highlights, and decreases the shadows. So in essence, it's avoiding your midtone information in favor of a stronger highlight and shadow. If I bring down the contrast, now it's, it's increasing the midtone, but decreasing the shadows and the highlights. Okay, now we're able to see detail back in here underneath the falls a little more effectively. All right, let's see if we can handle this better. Let's double click on it, let it drop back to, back to zero. Highlights is increasing or decreasing only the brighter areas of the image. It, it is not touching midtones and shadows at all. So if I bring this down to the left, you can see the highlights are going a little bit richer. Shadows, if this is affecting the highlights, then what about shadows? Shadows is only going to affect the deeper range, the deeper tonal values, which is seen behind the waterfall. So if I pull it to the left, that's making shadows darker. And if I pull it to the right, it brings up details in those shadows. There it is. So it's not so deep and dark back here. All right. So the, now what we have left here is our temperature, which is actually dealing with color. Your temperature, your tint, your vibrance and color. We're going to open up another um, sequence in just a moment. All right. So in our advanced features, we have the faded film look. See, it's going to flatten it out. We have sharpening. There it is. Look at that. It just sharpened up. If I pull it back to the left all the way, you can see it's just not as sharp. It starts to um, take on an effect as if it's um, getting slightly diffused. Okay. I accidentally pushed it. Let me go ahead and reset it and keep playing. In fact, let's stop the play. Now let's apply the sharpening. There you go. You can see it's happening. But what's beautiful is I can apply sharpening while it's playing. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be still. Everything's happening in real time. So vignetting, you can see what's happening around the sides. It's allowing you to control any types of light leaks that can happen around the sides or maybe any type of vignetting that's, that's, that, you, that is not something that you want to have in your video, you can use this to control it. And the feathering of the vignette. If I go real strong, rich area and feather it a little bit more, you can see 
as I move the slider bar right to left, how the vignette's being applied all the way to the left, soften it up so it's less of a harder range, and the amount. Matter of fact, let's go to the, make it um, very harsh. There we are. So experiment with this as well. Now let's apply some colors. Let's go ahead and just stop this video here. Let's go back to this source and let's access a color image and explore how this can be improved in Adobe Premiere Rush.